Android Explorer, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Ed Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you have found some time to have checked our previous videos. If you haven't done so, we would encourage you to do so. Today we are exploring the country Ghana. For those of you who don't know Ghana, we will be able to explain to you how this country has transformed. The reason why Ghana is a unique and successful example of any African country. Moving forward, we will analyze to you the Ghanaian people and the structure of the nation and dig deep into its agricultural systems and to let you know why Ghana is a shining example within the African continent. So without any much delay, we shall just go straight into it. For those of you who don't know Ghana, Ghana is formerly known as the Gold Coast. It's a country in Western Africa, just north of the equator. It is situated between Côte d'Ivoire and Ousu Togo and is bordered by Burkina Faso in the north and by the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean in the south. With regards to Ghana, the country covers an area of just over 200,000 km square making it slightly a small country if you want to compare that to other nations like in the UK or it may also have been, been smaller than comparing to a specific state in the United States like Oregon. Ghana's terrain, if you understand, offers mostly low plains with some scattered hills crisscrossed by rivers. And there is also Lake Volta, the world's largest artificial lake. Mountain Afaja, also called Afajoto, is Ghana's highest peak with just over 800 meters. If you extend this, the hills is located at the Agumanta Sa range. Main rivers are the Black Volta, the Red Volta as well, and the White Volta. They merged into one river, Volta, which has been dammed as the Akosombo to form the Lake Volta the world's largest artificial lake as it is known. The people of Ghana are interesting. The Ghanaian population at the moment, looking at number of uh, recent figures, is just over 29 million people. It's divided into some ethnic groups. Of course, there are 75 ethnic groups in Ghana. The most densely populated areas of the country, Ghana is not just only Accra, uh, these are other areas around the coastal areas, the Ashanti regions around Kumasi and the Ashanti capital. The capital also, uh, the largest city of course is called Accra. The different languages here are spoken but English is the official language. You do have other languages like Akan, you have uh, Twi, Fante and also there are about over seven, uh, 70 more West African languages that are being spoken in Ghana. If you are new to a Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. If we decide to share Ghana's information, digging deep into its background, Ghana formerly uh, merged of the British colony of the Gold Coast and the Togoland Trust Territory. Ghana in 1957 became the first Sub-Saharan Africa in colonial Africa, so to say, then to gain its independence. A long series of coups resulted in suspension of the constitution in 1981 and the ban on political parties. A new constitution restoring multi party politics was approved in 1992. Then left Lieutenant uh, Jerry uh, Rawlings of blessed memory, head of state since 1981 at the time. Uh, won presidential elections, uh, moving that up to 1992 and up to 1996, but based on the renounced constitutional prevented him from running for any elections again, and that led to a transition into the Ghanaian democracy, which we all currently see today. Ghana is a shining example for other African nations based on its system and its regular free and fair elections currently. They are having another election that's currently going on. But again, the Ghanaian people have demonstrated that they are a force to reckon with. 
With regards to the political system in Ghana, for those of you who want to know a little bit more, uh, the Ghana cons considers one of the most stable countries in West Africa. The nations maintain a constitutional presidential multi-party democracy. The chief of state, as it is known, and the head of government is the president. Executive powers is exercised by the government. Legislative powers is vested in both the government and also the parliament. Understanding the Ghanaian people, we've talked about the population of Ghana. There are different ethnic groups in Ghana as well. In terms of religion, Christians form over 69% of the population, Muslims have just over 15%, and traditional and indigenous beliefs also do have uh, just over 9%. It's interesting to let you know that those different languages, uh, which includes Asante, as we've pointed out, Twi, Akwen, and Fati, uh, form different groups. Ghana is known as a major player in the world. In terms of its economy, it's interesting. Wonderful cultural um, presentation. The country has been attracted, attracting different businesses from all over the world. It is a shining example of an emerging economy. For those of you who don't know that Ghana is Africa's second biggest gold producer and the second largest cocoa producer. The country is rich in diamond and oil, but Ghana is also uh, having other regional disputes with its for, for, uh, neighbor Ivory Coast as a result of other issues. Uh, that's a topic for another day. Moving forward, the country currently has moved to an extent where they are competing in a whole lot of ways. It has built its infrastructure, which is an envy for other African nations. If you are new to Edisplora, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. When you look at the natural resources, Ghana has it in abundance. They do have gold, timber, diamond, bauxite, and manganese, including fish. In the terms of agriculture, Ghana is we've mentioned with regards to that area. They produce cocoa amongst one of the highest in the world. Rice, coffee, cassava, peanuts, corn and shea, different things. They have incredible industries as well that are emerging and some already established, like in the mining sector, uh, lumbering, light manufacturing, uh, aluminium smelting, food processing and a whole lot of things. Ghana recently discovered oil as well, and the country, the government, is investing heavily into that part. Again, they are also involved in exportation. Uh, there are different commodities that include oil, gold and timber, as well as tuna, bauxite, aluminium are different things. They do businesses with other uh, countries like India, Switzerland, and China. France does businesses with uh, this particular country as well. And of course, they are also involved in heavy importation. They import capital equipment and also refined petroleum stuff from other countries. They also have importation partners. They deal with China, Nigeria, the Netherlands, the United States of America, and also uh, other nations within the sub-region in Africa. Ghana is an interesting country. When you look at it, it's been the main destination for migrants coming from developed nations. Those who are living to come to live in Ghana are coming from the United States. There are lots of returnees recently. It's as a result of the attractive nature of the Ghanaian system, which has been pride as an example in the African continent. Ghana attracts lots of tourists over the years. The Ghanaian music is known. It has an incredible sport national uh, theme that competes heavily in international competition. The country has just built a new international airport, which was an example of a huge investment. Again, Ghana is setting the way forward, but we were going to be looking at the way things are going to be changing. Of course, others will say that Ghana uh, might face a slowdown as a result of the COVID-19. But that is yet to be seen. But at the moment, Ghana is leading the way as an emerging country that has had a clear focus as to the way they want to lead their own country. If you are new to Edisplora, we would encourage you to check our previous videos and subscribe to our channel and we keep bringing you more inspiring content. 
With regards to Kojo, Ghana has interesting reserves as well. It's a country that has huge tourism aspect. It's good to visit and understand how the country has transformed. They have interesting cities like Kumasi, Ashanti. Uh, you have other places around the country. Others will say Ghana is not just about uh, the Accra area. In the education system, Ghana has some of the most well-renowned universities like Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, University of Cape Coast, University of Ghana, and they have produced some exemplary uh, experts uh, coming from that particular part. The country has emerged. We all will be looking as to how Ghana will sustain this uh, investment in the coming years. Hopefully, we've been able to inform you with regards to Ghana. For those of you who feel that Ghana is moving to the right direction, we would like to hear from you. For those of you who feel that COVID might slow the, the current development to a different direction, we would also like to know. For those of you who have visited Ghana, please leave us your comment what your experiences were. Otherwise, we want to thank you for watching Explorer. Hopefully, you can give us a thumbs up and also share our videos to your different network. For now, thanks for your time and have a good day. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Bye-bye.